All right, hey, what's up, people? And today we're gonna be doing the basic tutorial for 11.2.035, and this works for the European region, Japan region, and the American region. So, whatever letter your 3DS ends with E, U, or J, then it's gonna work. Okay, so other than that, it's not gonna work for any other region. So what else we're going to need? We're going to need a copy of either Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire. Works on both cartridge and digital eShop versions. And we're going to need PokeBank installed. For free, you don't have to pay for it. PokeBank, we're only going to use it to bypass the yellow screen. I have it downloaded on my 3DS and I don't have it purchased on this one. And we're going to need Homebrew Launcher. So. Make sure you have Homebrew Launcher installed, because if you do not have Homebrew, then you're gonna you're not gonna be able to do this. And there's people that I guess don't pay attention, and they're trying to do this tutorial, and they say it doesn't work. So then when I ask them, "Hey, do you have Homebrew?" They're like, "No." So why are you even bothering doing this if you don't have Homebrew? Okay. <clears throat> so let's get started now. So we're gonna come to this page here. I'll leave the link to the description. We're gonna download the base hacks. So let's download it. Now make sure your SD card is inside your computer. And we're gonna extract the BaseX. And I'm using here WinRAR to unzip the files. Okay. Open your SD card here. And go to your, wherever you downloaded the BaseX. So as you can see, this is where I download it, so I have it in my downloads. And since I extracted it, it should be in my downloads as well. So I'm gonna look for BaseX here real quick. Okay, where are you, where are you at? Okay, where is it? Come on, where is it? I'm still trying to look for base X. Should be where all the folders are at. Come on, where are you? Unless I'm blind and I can't find it. Okay, so pretty blind. So I'm not finding it. Okay, so I'm gonna I guess unzip it again because I can't find it. So hopefully I find it now. Where's SpaceX? There you are. So here it is. So I'm going to double click to open it and now we're going to see 3DS and base hex. So very important, make sure you drag this base hex folder into the root of your SD card. I'm going to replace this since I already have it, just showing you guys how to do this. Now we're going to see a 3DS folder here. We're going to open it and we should see base hex exploit installer. So this one we're going to drag into the 3DS folder of the homebrew starter kit. All right, and as you can see, it's here. Make sure three files are in there and you should be good to go. All right, and for base hacks, make sure, okay, do not worry about this one. Make sure you have these three folders here, AS10, AS14, OR10, and OR14, okay? Should be good to go. Okay, so let's get to the most important part here. Okay, so here at the homebrew launcher, I'll leave the link to the description. We're gonna we're gonna come down here, and we're gonna see something called the other app, Rob and payloads. Very important. Make sure to insert the 11.1.034 update that we're gonna be downloading for the payload or the other app, 
and for the old you're going to be using the old 3ds and 2ds if you have new make sure you select the new okay so this is very important guys so select 11 point one point thirty four okay so this goes for the 2ds and all 3ds users if you have the new make sure you select the new with the same firmware okay very important here e for europe u for usa j for japan so whatever letter firmware fuck. okay whatever letter and senior firmware that's the letter you're going to be using to download the other app so mine says with the u for usa if your ends with the e make sure you select the e if yours ends with the j make sure you make sure you select the j because if you select the wrong one basex will pretty much kick you back to the main menu of the 3ds so if it keeps kicking you out then you select the wrong other app okay so this for anyone that has the u and has the old 3ds and 2ds make sure yours looks like this and as well if you had the new 3ds then it should look like this with the new okay so now download the other app <clears throat> okay so here it is now on the SD card here I'm gonna go to the basex folder that I dragged in here I'm gonna open it very important I'm gonna drag it inside here I'm gonna remove these characters and I'm gonna name it other app so O T H E R A double P dot bin so it should be named like this for it to work okay so once you're done just verify is there perfect now we close this and we're basically done here so now remove your SD card and put it back into your 3ds and now let's go to these the bay hacks right here so base hacks explore and installer is gonna have a question mark icon press a okay sometimes i'll just take you there but just for me to show you guys step by step just then go back just so there will be no errors or nothing all right so just for instance the first time you're launching it have a question mark I mean press on the question mark for base X now go to Pokemon here do not select Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire yet because it's gonna crash All right select Pokebank then now you should see this alright so if you have the cartridge make sure you insert your cartridge so I have the cartridges here so I'm gonna be doing both at the same time so I could show you guys since I'm here already so I'm using Omega Ruby first so as you can see select the game digital AS for Alpha Sapphire I don't own that so I'm gonna go with card for cartridge and I'm gonna select OR for Omega Ruby all right so I'm gonna press A and make sure you have Wi-Fi connected for it to download the payload because if you don't have internet connected then you cannot do this because there's no way it could download the payload all right so it's gonna give you a little warning here if you don't want to do it just press start to take you back to the menu all right because this could potentially delete your data but I haven't had any issues so I'm gonna press a to continue and then on the bottom it says Pokemon O R version 1.4 detected press A to continue all right so installing payload done SpaceX was successfully installed all right so now you can press start I'm gonna take you back to the homebrew launcher and I'm gonna do it again but this time I'm gonna be using off a sapphire cartridge so 
go back to base exploring installer do not click on the whatever pokemon game you have so always go to pokebank because if you select the game then it's gonna pretty much give you a yellow screen and you're gonna have to do it all over so i'm using the card and i'm using alpha sapphire and i'm gonna press a to continue pokemon as version 1.4 detected right base has was successfully installed now press start and we could press start to reboot okay so now we're here back in the menu let's launch pokemon alpha sapphire i'm gonna be doing both games so that way you guys can know that both of them work all right so make sure you have your secret base if you don't have a secret base or do not remember where you had one there's one in route 123 i believe or 132 hold up let me check so this is what a your pretty much secret base looks like this i'm in i think i'm on top of the tree house and then there's also the cave so i'm in route 123 so basically you're gonna land somewhere around here and just come down here and you'll find a tree house here so make sure you have a pokemon with secret power move and you should be good to go so let's check out secret power all right so secret power could be taught to any pokemon basically so make sure you teach it secret base not secret base but secret power all right once you're in here just make sure you save it if you have not already just so if it crashes it won't take you back to where you were left off okay so now here we go we're gonna launch we're gonna open up the pc here and we're gonna scroll down to where it says edit secret team settings now we're gonna see these five options here change team name change team slogan change happy message change encouraging message and back so you should see change team name once you see it then you did everything correctly all right press a to launch and now you're gonna see something crazy going on okay let's try it again because that usually happens like that and then we'll take you to homebrew all right let's do it again <sighs> crap okay here we go with try number two so edit secret team settings change team name and there you go should be launching as you can see we launched it with alpha sapphire so i'm gonna go back and launch it with omega ruby all right so we know alpha sapphire works now so let's try omega ruby And what I like about this is basically on a new update for the BaseX installer that does not have the option to select what firmware you have on your 3DS. So that way you won't be confused and select the wrong firmware. So basically you have to download the file that you saw, select your version and that's pretty much it. In my opinion it's a little bit easier. So once again, for your PC, add a secret team settings, change team name. Okay. Let's go again. Okay. 
Hopefully this time it works. So I tried both of them before and it did, it did work without any issues. But I guess once I start doing this, I have bad luck. Okay, let's give it a second try now. Because either way, if I were to select the wrong version of the game, it would give me, a, would give me an error message that Payload was not installed or downloaded. So there's no way I could have messed that up. Because even though I tried to do that, it gave me an error just to verify that there was no errors happening. Okay, as you can see, it's launching. And that's it. So pretty much there you guys have it any questions feel free to ask if you don't have homebrew do not ask okay do not ask if it's needed because it is needed other than that guys hope you guys enjoyed this hit the like button if you like it if you don't hit the dislike button if you want to support the youtube channel hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial thanks for watching and have a good one